There's so many things at play here. There's the fact that sticking a needle in your arm really seems like something intrusive, right? People are afraid of needles. They find the whole thing unpleasant. They certainly find it unpleasant to have someone do it to their kids, right? And it's interesting to consider how the debate here would be different if the vaccine were delivered as a chewable gummy or as a nasal spray, right? I think that would feel different to many people. But the default is to feel that getting vaccinated or getting your kids vaccinated is an act of commission, which entails greater ethical concern and responsibility than an act of omission, right? Not doing something. Not doing something is who can fault you for just sitting on your hands? Well, in this case, you become part of a petri dish, potentially, breeding new variants of this virus. And you're a free rider on herd immunity, if it were ever achieved. And I think it is appropriate to judge people for taking that position. It is not merely a choice you're making for yourself. Even choosing not to wear a seatbelt isn't merely a choice you're making for yourself. I mean, there you don't have the problem of epidemiology, but if you are not wearing a seatbelt and you're thrown from your car in an accident and horribly injured, society pays the costs of that. Your medical bills raise the costs of insurance for everyone. And if you're uninsured, society bears those costs, right? And society is bearing the costs of people who are landing in ICUs with severe complications from COVID when it wasn't necessary at this point. I think it's totally appropriate to put the onus on the vaccine hesitant here. Unless, of course, they have really compelling reasons not to want to get vaccinated. And there's some people who do. There's the very people who, for whom herd immunity is such an important variable, the people who are immunocompromised in various ways, or who have terrible reactions to vaccines. There are people like this who can't get vaccinated. And those are precisely the people one is thinking about when championing the virtues of herd immunity. So it's hard to get past a sense that what is happening among the vaccine hesitant is, given the state of our current information, a failed commitment to the common good. You are helping prolong a problem that need not be prolonged. We know these vaccines work, and we know they are safe enough at this point certainly compared to the problem of getting COVID without the benefit of getting vaccinated. And if I didn't believe we knew this, then there might be something to debate. But just I'm not going to have a podcast where someone's haranguing me about thermite and the melting point of steel. I'm not going to have a debate about these vaccines in the absence of truly compelling evidence.